Yeah. Mm. And that's, by the way, the TV version of getting played off. Like if you're talking too much and the yeah. producer's like, hey, we yeah. gotta go. next thing you know, the video rolls and, and we're supposed to and go with it. it's over. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody ever does that to you, Christine. Oh, my gosh. Weather is notorious for going over uh, and yes. round. Why did you round, point round, at me for that? <laughs> Julie's a talker. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the verbal process. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. See the graphic. I didn't even see. We just got played off. That. There you go. Case in point. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, you notice temperatures went up. We had lighter winds today, and look what happens. I don't know if you could see the hazy visibility throughout the valley today. We've had a lot of fog and low cloud cover throughout the last couple of mornings, so somewhat damp here in the valley, and a little bit with the light wind uh, more visible. Let's put it that way. So hazy uh, visibility here good visibility everywhere else and with our lighter winds and our warmer temperatures I think hazy visibility will be the case over the next couple of days our high temperature today 88 degrees it's been a long time since we've been into the 80s 85 our average high temperature for this state we've been in the 70s now a little bit above average we're going to push those temperatures up another 10 degrees over the weekend 110 it was 110 in 1960 on this date. So it's uh, not uncommon to see 100 degree temperatures, but we certainly don't see them often. 86 degrees in Stockton at this hour. We have a northwest wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. We'll see afternoon winds each and every night throughout the Delta over the upcoming weekend. South Lake Tahoe looking great. I looked at all the pictures up there and uh, not a lot of cloud cover today. Just beautiful weather. We also saw uh, less of a marine layer that was uh, uh, just a little bit lighter. It's been up to 2,000 feet, so we just saw some early this morning. We're seeing a breeze out of the west right now, and that's 10 to 20 miles per hour. Lighter winds throughout the valley up in the foothills. Here's the changes we're talking about that's going to bring us warmer temperatures. The upper level low that was offshore moved east. This high pressure builds in and then backs down and will park over us for the upcoming weekend. And then the big changes we're talking Talking about the next low develops off the Southern California coastline. Look at the potential for showers from Southern California up to Plumas County, around to coastal areas. Some of that could certainly spill into the foothills. River temperatures will be running cold. We'll see temperatures in the low 50s, north end of the Sacramento River, otherwise just low to mid 50s. And no possibility of thunder showers, at least tomorrow. We'll bring that back, though, by Sunday. Your forecast low temperatures tonight still freezing up in the Sierra, 50 degrees, Pollock Pines, 53 here in Sacramento, Fairfield. Daytime temperatures tomorrow widespread, upper 80s and low. Uh, this was today's high temperatures. Here's our forecast for the next seven days. Delta looking warm to hot by Sunday and Bay Area. Also temperatures under mostly fair skies will be in the mid to upper 60s. Foothill temperatures warmest day Sunday. We'll start to see the cool down potential for cloud cover and the showers and thunder showers next seven days. Uh, a little bit on the hot side tomorrow, but we'll keep it warm Sunday and Monday. And then we'll keep our temperatures starting to cool off with the potential for sh showers. Some showers and thunder showers up in the mountains as we move through the week. Wrap. Wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Christine.